Yeah, we, we are quite keen to start and to get things rolling. We always, you know, we talk about that about our players dealing with adversity, uh, adjusting, adapting to the situation, um, wherever that might be. And so for us, it's kind of a, 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 a continuation of, of the life lessons that we talk about. And you mentioned trying to like initially instill that type of culture. And, and that style of play. But, but what are those kinds of things? Like what is going to be this like brand of, of Charlotte FC play? We want to have the, the players have the aspirations to play at a high level. And so Dan, there's a brilliant document that, that essentially outlines what it looks like at the highest level. And so it's, a, it's about really trying to take too, too many opinions and, and feelings out of it and actually being um, quite, quite deliberate and structured in the way that we work. Um, Dan, do you want to elaborate a bit on that or talk about the cultural part? Yeah, the cultural thing is really interesting because, like Mark said, we're gonna, that's something we're going to have to develop. We have, we have our kind of club pillars and, and clear values, uh, kind of the three things we've established as a club, a kind of a progressive attitude. And, and how we see that on the field is, is going to be, like Mark said, using evidence-based approach, uh, how we progress the ball quickly through the, through the thirds of the field but also a progressive approach off the field in terms of diversity, um, having players question and be intelligent and, and seek feedback. Um, we kind of another one of our key pillars is ambition. So we want our players to be very ambitious, to be the best, to learn from the best, to challenge themselves. Um, and then also our third one is, is the collective. So from, from a cultural perspective, whilst we obviously we know there's that balance between developing an individual player and an individual player's ambitions, understanding that that individual player has to function within a team of 11 players and a squad of 18 or 22 players. 